Hi everyone! In this video, you will learn the concepts about functions as one of the topics in general mathematics. But first, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Princess Joy Bugambal, and I will be guiding you all throughout the course in general mathematics. If you have any problems, questions, or clarifications, please do leave a comment and I'll be glad to assist you. So let's start! Most of us are really not aware that functions are really important in certain phenomena and situations in our day-to-day -day basis. One of the core concepts of mathematics is function. That's why it's possible for us to compute the height of your classmate, the distance we travel from our home to school, and vice versa. So in this section, you will learn how to evaluate, perform operations, and solve problems involving functions. So what is function? It is a relation defined as a relationship between sets of information that is usually represented as an ordered pair. In a function, every value of x corresponds to a unique value of y. The first value or element of an ordered pair is what we call as the domain, which represents all the components of x. While the second value or element is called range, which represents all the components of y. Now, functions can be represented through ordered pair, like what I've said a while ago, can be formed into in equations, tables, and graphical form. Like what I have mentioned from the first slide, function can be used in real-life situation. Let's have its application by solving this problem. Betty and Chris are best friends, and they decided to have an extra income. They bought beads and other materials to make bracelets and sell it to their friends. Their starting capital is worth 1,000 pesos, which can make 100 pieces of bracelets. If Betty and Chris decided to sell the bracelets for 20 pesos each, how much is the profit? So based on the problem, the number of bracelets that Betty and Chris made is 100 pieces. We can denote the number of bracelets with M. Now for the capital, the capital is worth 1,000 pesos. And they are planning to sell it for 20 pesos each. Now the question here is, how much is the profit that Betty and Grace are going to make? Now for us to find the, the value or the worth of profit, we can use a formula P. P is equal to or in P stands for the profit. So we have there P is equal to 20M. 20 comes from the, the worth of the bracelet minus the capital which is 1,000 pesos. Now let's write this first. We have 20 pesos times M minus 1,000 pesos. Now substitute the value of M wherein they made a total of 100 pieces of bracelets minus 1,000 pesos. So let's multiply 20 pesos with 100 pieces. So we have 2,000 minus 1,000. Now let's have function notation. Functions are described using formulas or function notation. Functions are read as f of x. Now let's have the next slide, evaluating functions. To find the given value of x is to evaluate the function f by substitution. So we have a given function f of x is equal to 5x minus 3. And the values of x are negative 1, 0, positive 1, and negative 2. Now again, for us to evaluate the given and to find the value of x, we have to substitute. Let's write it down first, 5x minus 3. Let's change x with the first given, which is negative 1. Again, substitute. Let's change the value of x with negative 1. So we have 5 times negative 1 minus 3. 
in uh, evaluating functions, please make sure to use uh, PEMDAS rule, wherein you have to multiply first before you subtract. So you have there negative 5 minus 3. And since they are like signs, you have to add and copy the common sign. That's why we have a final answer of negative 8. Now let's have another function. We have 5x minus 3. Again, let's change the value of x with the next value, which is 0. So 5 times 0 minus 3. 5 times 0 is 0 minus 3. And the final answer is negative 3. For the next value of x, we have positive 1. So f of 1 is equal to 5x minus 3. Change the value of x with positive 1. So 5 times 1 minus 3. We have 5 minus 3. And the final answer is positive 2. Now let's proceed with operations on functions. We have four basic operations in mathematics, and that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The operations on functions are defined and shown on the slide. This is for the four basic operations. As you can see, for the sum, we have f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. For the difference of f and g, we have f minus g of x, and that is the same with f of x minus g of x. For multiplication of f and g, we have f times g of x, and that is the same with f of x times g of x. And last but not the least, for the quotient of f and g, we have f over g of x, and that is equal to f of x over g of x. Now let's try to perform the indicated operations on the given functions. So we have given functions 3x plus 6 and x plus 2. Now let's try to add the following functions. So we have f plus g of x. Again, that is the same with f of x plus g of x. As I have mentioned from the last slide. All you have to do is to substitute. We have 3x plus 6. Again, the operation is addition. So plus g of x is x plus 2. Now combine similar terms, we have 3x plus x plus 6 plus 2 as the constant term. So since they have like sign, we have 4x plus 8. And since they don't have common terms, that is the final answer. Next, let's have subtraction f minus g of x. So this is the same with f of x minus g of x. So please remember in subtraction we have this what we call subtrahend and denuvent. The substitute. As you can see, I, I enclose g of x with a parenthesis since that is the meaning end. And the first thing that you should do is to um, distribute negative sign. So we have there negative x, then uh, negative times positive 2, and that is negative 2. Combine similar terms. 3x minus x, that is unlike sign, so subtract. We have 2x, then plus 4. Again, they don't have similar terms, so that is the final answer. Now, let's proceed with multiplication. So, we have 3x plus 6 times x plus 2. Now, for us to solve this, to multiply these functions, we can use FOIL method. F stands for the first terms, O as the outer terms, I is the inner terms, and L for the last terms. So let's rewrite it down to avoid the confusions. So let's start. F first terms, 3x times x, that is 3x squared. Outer terms. We have 6x 
inner terms, 6 times x, that is 6x. Then lastly, we have 12. You could uh, solve this in linear form or in uh, straight, straight lang yung itsura niya. But you could perform it like this, since they have common terms. And that is the final answer. We have 3x squared plus 12x plus 12. And for the last one, we have division. We have f of x over g of x. So in division, uh, the first thing that you should do is to cancel out common terms. So in that case, you have to simplify by factoring. Uh, there are certain uh, um, rule implied for polynomials. And in this case, since this is, a, this is a binomial, we could use factoring by GCF. So the common factor in our numerator is 3. So we have 3 times x plus 2, all over x plus 2. As you can see, we have common terms, so we can cancel that out. And we are left with positive 3. And that is the final end. Now let's have the last one. Composition on function. Composition is denoted as f of g of x. Okay, so let's try this example, composition and functions. So for the composition of functions, we have given 3x plus 5 and x squared minus 2. So let's try number 1. Again, this is denoted as f of g of x. Now for us to solve this function, since f comes first, so you have to substitute first the function f. So you have 3x plus 5. Now instead of numbers for the value of x, uh, what we can see there is the function g of x. So for the value of x, substitute the value of g of x. Okay, next is to distribute. So we have 3x squared minus 3 times 2, that is 6 plus 5. Simplify. Uh, combine similar terms. We have 3x squared minus 1. And that is the final answer. Next, let's have the second one. Interchange. We have g of f of x. In this case, what comes first is the function g. So you have to write down first function g. g of x is equal to x squared minus 2. Next is to change the value of x with function f. We have 3x plus 5. Don't forget the exponent, minus 2. Now in this case, we have a squared binomial. And to evaluate this, we have to use one method. 3x plus 5 squared is uh, the same with this one, expanded form, 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 5. So again, in this case, we can use the FOIL method. So you have 3x times 3x, that is 9x squared, plus 3x times 5, we have 15x, 5 times 3x, 15x. Last terms, 5 times 5, that is 25. Now combine similar terms, we have 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. So the expanded form of 3x plus 5 squared is 9x squared plus 30x plus 25. Minus 2. Then combine similar terms. Magic. Okay, since there is no common term, that is the final answer. Yay! Thank you for watching!